Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ben, and today I'm going to be discussing the trailer for Dragon Age 3 Inquisition that we saw at E3 in the EA conference. I'm very happy to say I was wrong about a lot of things, so let's get straight to it. Dragon Age 3 seems to be set a good amount of time after the events in Kirkwall that set up the war, with both factions resorting to summoning demons and monsters to try and win at any cost. So Morrigan, who's been fighting on the front lines for the entirety of the war, has decided to found her own faction, the Inquisition, and try and end the war and stop the demonic invasion. I've spoken many times about how I think Flemeth is the main villain, but I hope that she actually isn't. I hope that what we're seeing is actually the truth. Both factions are summoning demons to try and win the war, and it's not someone else who is manipulating them, it's just them trying to kill each other. We know you'll be playing as the Inquisitor, who's leading the army, making me think that Morrigan is off trying to deal with something else, probably some true threat that will be revealed at the end of the second act. Since you'll be able to pick your origin, you'll probably start as a member of either the Mages or the Templars and leave your group to lead the Inquisition. As to who you'll be leading, I hope it'll be similar to Mass Effect 2, whereby it's a small group of elite allies that fight with you against the demons that have come through the Fade Portal, which we saw in the trailer. The thing that surprised me the most is that we saw Cassandra leading the fight, which is something she was clearly against in Dragon Age 2, but a lot has happened since Kirkwall and as such everyone has become a lot more desperate. This is of course an event from sometime during the game, so it's possible she's leading the Chantry's army, but who would the Chantry be fighting? It's possible that they're going up against both factions, aiming at closing any demonic portals that have been opened during the war. I hope that the battles happen more than just once at the end, as big emotional moments have always been what Bioware's best at, with the finale of Origins and the spreading of the cure onto Chanka and Mass Effect 3 as just two examples. I think that with the time that they have, three and a half years since Dragon Age 2, they could easily make advancements above and beyond what we had in Dragon Age 2 and Mass Effect 3, and that's something I'm very excited about. Thank you for watching. I'm going to be doing a more in-depth series of videos on the trailer over the next few weeks, so please subscribe to see as soon as I do. Also, I just spoke 300 subscribers, and as such, I'm going to be continuing my Dungeon Defenders and Age of Mythology Let's Plays next week over on Castle Shift Lazy, so subscribe there to see as soon as it starts.